this classic 1970s design six-speed bicycle just got a new derailleur the Shimano Tourney. In this video I'll show you how to mount this derailleur and we'll show you and explain the tools that are needed, the skills that are involved and we'll start with what was wrong with the original one. Well the original is right here in my hand and this is a Suntour derailleur and what happened to it with a little bit of overshifting and imprecise adjustment it got moved into the oncoming path of the spokes and it got bent into the wheel, stopped the wheel's rotation and as a result the mounting bracket or this hanger bracket is mangled to say the least. This used to be flat. I'll show you on the new one for contrast. So this can be restored. The hanger bracket can be detached with this bolt and is flattened but refinishing this is possible. I just don't have the technology for the time. The new derailleur which is matching the frame of the bike is good looking enough and is twenty dollars. So mounting involves a single nine millimeter socket like this or just a simple wrench. There are two bolts to deal with one for the cable clamp and one for the hanger bracket. The derailleur is also held in place by, in this case, the quick axle here, or your axle lock nut or lug nut. I'm going to loosen the axle here, so now this can move forward. You can see that this textured surface, I'm going to get you a close-up, interacts with the nut on the quick release skewer, and the rear can, the rear wheel can be removed like so there with that out of the way I want to just take off the nut from the opposite side of the quick release there this is the quick release skewer that you just saw and the serrated or textured surface of the nut is interacting with this textured surface on the derailleur's bracket. I'll get you a little closer now. Thereabouts. So now you can see it better. That's what I was talking about. The derailleur hanger is just held in place by this single bolt and on the other side there is a nut that matches this frame spar here. For the cable clamp which is underneath here, it's also a 9mm nut and is loose at the moment. I'm gonna get the cable out so you can see where it's routed but I wanna point out one little adjustment that I needed to make. You see the cable here wraps around this pulley and enters here through this jacketing and in order for the cable to be fed through easily I needed a tiny adjustment with a needle file this is a micro file a round file and I'll show you what I needed to do you can see it from above here how in the derailleur's body there's this metal piece here that I'm holding this black metal piece. I will remove the derailleur so you'll get another angle to see this but you can see how the cable is going through around the pulley which cannot move forward or into any other position and on this piece of metal that I'm catching with my index fingers nail you can see a little bit of notch made you can barely see there exactly where the cable runs through that's where the notch is that I filed in so let me pull out the cable just like so get it out of the way and you can see the notch better there. The notch is only in one edge of this of this um, 
I don't know bent piece of metal here so let me just take off the derailleur which is like I said mounts with this one bolt here and the nut on the opposite side it slides out from this spar here from this space so don't try to put this bolt through that hole there this is for a mud guard or fender or a luggage rack or in this case as it is on this frame both of these items are mounted through this way so uh, this is also for either mud guard or luggage rack that's why there are two holes don't try to put the derailleur hangers bolt through it the nut is shaped like this and I lost it once and it lies in this space like so so I hope this makes sense that this shape interacts with this groove here so that's basically how it mounts and it takes just exactly the amount of time that you spend watching this it's about what it takes to mount it so you don't see the notch this is the derailleur body here this is where the cable runs through wraps around this pulley wheel you don't see any notch in this from this side I could have bent this a little bit out to make it easier to mount the cable through it but I just decided like I said to file this little notch in it and I went in in this direction thereabouts so you're looking at the file ro rolling with the roller forward and was making groove or a notch in this metal there I hope this makes sense and this notch is only visible from above because it's on an angle it's on an angle like so okay this notch was made that was the mounting board this notch was made to make this cable mounting or cable feeding the cable through make it fairly easy or easier let me just get you a nice sharp image here there you can see the cable as you're trying to feed it through hits that spot where I made a notch hits it right there so with a little bit of uh, fiddling this can go through but is a tight fit once the cable is tight there is enough clearance between this part of the hanger and the cable so the design looks good on paper but not easy to feed the cable through so that's why there is that notch in there the cable then runs through this hole in the derailleur body there wrapping wrapping this pulley runs through there and comes out here and gets clamped by this clamp bolt which holds the cable there is a notch on it as well let's take it off so you see this serrated surface that's where the cable needs to run that's where the cable needs to be clamped and this little um, washer also has this serrated or textured surface to it so the two of them need to close the cable in place like so with the cable running through from this direction and being sandwiched right here at the edge there between these two components so the cable needs to be clamped right here like so between those textured surfaces
there with the bolt coming through. Okay, so that's how this mounting looks like. It's fairly straightforward, but needed this custom fit. Now, I'm gonna reverse my steps and mount it, and I'm gonna be good to go for a ride soon.